So my laziness is growing up and I will record this diary, so to say, on scene, uh, quite literally, uh, and I will indicate what is happening with the project at the moment. Of course, it's still an early stage and I think that the early stage is probably the most interesting because this is the area where in most projects all the groundwork is laid up and uh, decisions made here lead to problems down the pipe uh, and down the pipe there will be problems i assure you i'm already seeing them on the horizon and enjoying the definite arrival uh, so what currently is there not much not much i have the, the character the character can walk around uh, and I have created uh, the class for in uh, interactable items. Uh, this can be literally anything. It, it, it can be pickables, it can be puzzle objects, it can be uh, triggers uh, of different sorts. Uh, and they all work with unified interface, which allows me just to use the same action for all uh, purposes of interacting with environment. And currently we have only one activator. Uh, ready it's pistol pickup when I use interact action I pick up the pistol and the pistol is in the character's hand and now I can use uh, my aim toggle to put the pistol to fighting position now the character cannot move only aim the pistol and now I can use the shoot button to technically shoot the pistol uh, it's only an animation uh, no uh, actual uh, combat mechanics are present at the moment uh, because there's nothing to use them on and so on. Plus, I need to tweak some stuff uh, more to better control the moment of shooting because, for example, for example, if you start clicking non-stop, uh, as you see, animation will not play. Uh, and this is a problem. I'll need to uh, iron it out. But overall, I am content with the fact that the stuff more or less works and it works better than I was expecting it to work at this point uh, in project. Now, uh, as to some other additional stuff, I am working on the visual corruption system. And for that, I have created two types of materials, corruptible base material, uh, which has this additional note, which uh, reflects uh, some corruption texture, which will be applied on top of the material. And uh, the non-corruptible materials that will be used for all the objects that are usually pickables, like pistols, some medipacks, some stuff that will be used by the player. Uh, so uh, how does the corrupt material works? Uh, Unreal has a system that is called uh, material parameter collections. And when we crank uh, the corruption parameter to one, we uh, gain this corruption layer on the material. It's of course uh, currently mostly for testing purposes. Uh, yes, uh, this will be better in lit mode. So, no corruption, 0.2 corruption, 0.5 corruption, 1 corruption. So, everything becomes more dirty and less nice to look at. Uh, of course, it will be needed to be uh, correlated with additional props uh, of different uh, debris and other elements that will increase the level of corruption. But in correlation with the theme of the gem, at first we will encounter the pristine ship. And uh, later down the line, due to uh, the development of the narrative, uh, the corruption will slowly start showing off. At first it will be barely visible, something like this, and then it will be a full reveal with uh, how decrepit the ship actually is. And uh, this is kind of the main twist I'm planning to create. It's not much of a twist because uh, 
uh, well, quite obviously something is terribly wrong with the ship and uh, of course uh, the initial state will not last forever. Uh, but uh, uh, this is kind of the main element I am going to implement within the game uh, to shake stuff up. Uh, plus uh, I am planning to do certain uh, transformation with behavioral systems of the main character which will also play into how the game develops and how it is played by uh, the player. Um, and uh, some more dynamic elements are planned. I'm currently starting to think on implementing them properly. It's lighting system because we will reactivate systems of the ship and uh, as such uh, we will need to swap lighting from uh, this uh, red emergency lights to something like uh, proper uh, white or light blue lighting which will illuminate the space uh, around uh, in a proper fashion Uh, but it should not be over bright, it should work as proper lighting. So maybe I will experiment with uh, the systems of uh, global illumination of some kind, like skylights. Uh, we will see. Uh, as for functional elements of uh, the game in its current state, we have as uh, a main character. Uh, as I said, it's all being done in blueprints, so we do not have too much of stuff to uh, work with. This block uh, corresponds to movement, and currently we are uh, disabling movement when the character is aiming. Uh, and of course, while the character is shooting, uh, the same process. Plus, we have uh, run ta ta timers, timers. I love my typos, they uh, are everywhere. Uh, this is a uh, timer manager. Currently we have one timer for gun reloading. There will be another timer for melee. And these timers will be used to determine what the character can or cannot do at the point, uh, at the current point. Uh, we have uh, activator scanner. It's uh, the regular uh, cast. Uh, ray cast, but in this case we uh, are using shape cast modification with uh, the box so that the activator can be on any height uh, within character's vision and if it can be interacted with the character will detect it and uh, activate it. Uh, plus we indicate activator's name uh, and if I am not mistaken the activator is displayed, it displays its name in the top right, a uh, left corner at this point. Uh, and of course it will be displayed in the UI, when UI will actually be present. Though I'll be going for minimalist UI to make it look uh, as immersive as possible. Uh, and uh, the other thing I wanted to show off is uh, where's my skeletal meshes? Animation is done with animation blueprint, uh, and current animation blueprint system looks something like this. So we can switch between idling, walking, aiming, and shooting. And of course, when you shoot, you need to aim. So you can transit to shooting exclusively from aiming. Uh, and you cannot walk and aim, therefore these two systems are exclusive. Uh, the character will, will be automatically stopped, therefore walking, uh, walking will not be detected. We will move to idle and from idle we will move to aiming and shooting if necessary. Uh, Melee will be used outside of aiming, uh, therefore we will add a note here for uh, melee attacks. And I am not sure whether I will or will not add interaction node. Uh, I want to do it, but it will make uh, playing a bit more cumbersome. It will require one additional timer for the character to play interaction animations. Uh, plus in tight spots it might be rather annoying when something is trying to kill you and you cannot do anything because the character is stretching uh, 
uh, her hand around. Uh, so I might uh, not use interaction uh, animation and uh, the stuff will just teleport uh, away from the character into character's inventory. So this is the current state of the project. Uh, I hope I will add more stuff uh, on the following stages with the inventory, with interactions like with the doors, with level, level transits, and so on. Well, uh, this is the current state and uh, up to the next diary and the next stage of development. Have good time, everyone.